Hi, Nidia. Hi, Brenda. How are you, Nidia? Everything okay? Yes, everything okay, thank you. Excellent, very good. Are you still working from home, uh, Nidia? No, um, uh, I'm on vacation. Oh, you're still on vacation, yeah, I remember you told yes. me, yeah. Yes, yes. So it's, it's better for me not yeah. to worry. Yeah, I'm you're okay. right. Yes. Yeah, especially now with so much rain, Nidia. Oh my goodness, eh? Yes, it's hard. It's very hard. And they say there's another tropical storm coming in on third. I mean, tomorrow, and it's not going to stop raining until Sunday. Tomorrow through Sunday? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So oh, I'm sorry for my co workers because <laughs> they have to, to go with the process. And I know. It's hard. Yeah, it's very hard. Yeah. But at home, by the place you live, it's okay. No, like any, any floods or anything? No, thank God it's very, very secure and it's not dangerous about uh, slide, slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Mud slide, yeah. Mud slide, yes. Uh, uh -huh. Or other things. Right. Thank okay. God. Yeah, no but kidding. Yeah. Happens. You know, yes. I live here by, well, I live in San Marcos, but I am right under Los Planes de Renderos. Yes. So, so it's raining a lot here and there's like a lot of, um, slot, like mudslides from all, all over the uh, highway, Comalapa Highway. So it's a little bit complicated. Yes. Yeah. And the mudslide today in the morning near Planes de, on Planes de Renderos. Also, a yeah. worker live, lives uh, seven houses. She said. Oh my gosh! Are from you the mudslide. So oh. we were very, uh, very worried, worried yeah, of her course. because she wow. was. Um, she couldn't go to work. Right, of course. But yeah. uh, more about of this, the the security of her. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But she said she's okay and okay. her family. Oh, okay, so yes, yeah. yes. All right. Okay, very good. Hi, Brenda. How are you? Hi. I'm how are fine. you today? You're fine. Yeah. How was your day? Was okay. It was okay, but busy. A yeah. lot of meetings today. Oh my yeah. goodness. Are you working from home right now, Brenda, or you're going to the office? No, I'm working from home. So a lot of uh, meetings online. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right I'm now. I'm in uh -huh. Zoom the whole day, pretty much. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Brenda, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like my, I don't know, like my fifth or oh, sixth oh my meeting. <laughs> Oh my goodness, all right, okay, well, yeah. Hi, Fred, hi, Mel. hi, Saida. Hi, Miss. Hi, Freddy, how was your day? Hi, teacher. Hi, Manuel. How was your day, Fredito? Uh, well, I have a good day. Yeah. Thanks, God. Nice. Wow, very yeah. nice. Did you go Thank to you. work or did you stay home today? Oh, you have to go to my job. Okay, all right, okay. All right, and Maribel, my friend Maribel, how was your day? Oh, my day, very good. Yeah? Oh, <laughs> yes, at home, at okay. home. Yeah. I'm working for uh, for two hours, maybe. <laughs> oh my goodness, Maribel, lucky. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> wow, yes. Wow, that's nice, wow, very good. And Manuel, how was your day today, Manuel? Hi, I'm fine. I'm relaxing. I'm only working in around three hours, similar for me. Oh my goodness! You guys are so lucky, eh? <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's no. Good. It's it's the pen. It's the pen. Yeah. There are, there are days, and mm -hmm. I work for one, two hour, right. and another day similar for tomorrow. I can. I couldn't. I couldn't uh, meeting in the class because yeah, uh, yesterday. I was working just yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We missed you yesterday. I was wondering where's Manuel. Yeah, okay, all right. Yes. Well, sometimes we have busier days than others. All right. Wow. Yeah. What about Saida? How was your day, Saida? Good teacher. Excellent. Very good. All right. Julia, yeah. your day. Everything okay? Julia, Julia, you there? 
Astrid, yes. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Hi, how was your day today, Astrid? Was it a good day, a busy day? Yes, a busy day, but yeah. it was fine. All right, okay. Now, guys, do you like to work at home better than going to the office, or you like to go to the office better? What do you guys like? <clears throat> Honestly. <laughs> The office, no, the, 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 the home, the home, <laughs> sorry, sorry, the home, the home is the best option. Manuel, the home is the best option for you? Yes, it's the best option. Okay, and Brenda, what about you? How do you feel, like home office or going to the office? I don't know, I'm in the middle of it. I don't miss traffic though, but no. I like home. <laughs> but yeah, traffic is something that I just not like. All right, very good. And Nidia, do you, do you prefer to be from home? you like rather go to the office i'd rather go to the office because yeah. i i feel when i'm at home i i have to it's almost like duplicate my work right to do assignments to read uh, emails and communicate with people so right. it's it's hard for me yeah okay all right okay and for the rest of you for julia Astrid, saida and freddy and maribel what do you say maribel <laughs> She's laughing. Hi, Maribel. Ah. <laughs> uh, so I feel better being in my house and mm -hmm. because I am an accountant. Yes. And and I I I can I can do my my job in in, in the house. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but sometimes I am talking with my with my boss and mm -hmm. I I think it's very good. Okay. No, so so my boss uh, was was thinking about the the job that we have that maybe we have to work at at home. Maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. What about Freddy? Do you like to be home working or do you rather go to work? I prefer to go to the work. Yeah. Why, yeah. Freddy? Tell us why. <laughs> oh well, um, I don't feel the time, mm -hmm. and. Uh, in my house, I think that uh, the time is slowly. <laughs> ah, it's slower. Okay, all right. Okay, very good. And for the girls, for Julia, Astrid, and Saida, what do you feel? Do you feel better going to work or staying home and working from home? Uh, right now, I'm working from home, but I think it's very difficult because mm. I have to work and mm. I have to attend my girls too yeah yeah and then yeah. it's so difficult <laughs> yeah i yeah. prefer go to the work <laughs> yeah you prefer go to work okay very good and astrid what do you say home office or saying or work going to work i am in home office right now but at the beginning uh -huh. was very hard because i miss i was missing the the my my co-workers right and i miss the the gym no, and all the and all the activities but right. now i i feel comfortable and i i like it yeah okay. and the okay. best i think the best option okay. because we don't i don't have traffic i don't yeah. have stress with the with my boss <laughs> yes okay that's a that's an important point i don't have the, the, <laughs> yes yeah all right and Arely, what do you say? Home office or going to work? What do you like better, Arely? Yeah, I think that the work from home is better because, <laughs> I don't know, I feel more comfortable. I don't need to uh, to take a bus <laughs> or, yeah. Right, yeah. Okay, yeah. I think it has its advantages and disadvantages. But yeah. I mean, if we get used to it, I think it's, we make it, you know, kind of like a normal life. And, you know, I guess a lot of jobs after this um, COVID-19 is going to change. A lot of them are going to change, right, because of, of the situation. So let's see how everything else works. You know, I've been, I mean, for me, it's also been like difficult because all of my teaching, I do it right now. All my teaching, I do it online. Before I used to have online classes, but I, I used to go to university to teach 
and to the academy to teach, right? Because at the beginning, I was like, oh my goodness, you know, I'm only home and I'm only doing teaching online. I like it. I mean, you get used to it at the end. Teacher, right? in what university do you work? I work at UCA and I work at Pedagogica. Oh, nice. Ah, really? Pedagogica? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So, and then university at the academy. In Pedagogica yeah. University. Right. Yeah, I'm there. I've been there for a while. I graduated from there. <laughs> oh. And you right. were the Saturday and Saturday courses? No. Uh, no, no. Uh, oh. On Saturday, I work for InsaForp and the uh, Inglés para el Trabajo program. Oh. That is like also teaching English, but presencial. But not right now, right? Uh -huh. Everything yeah. presencial is suspended. So right now, everything is online. And I think we're going to stay like that at least for a couple of more months. Because remember that we have many students in a classroom. And once everything reopens, we're going to be asked to have like distance, right? So, and the classrooms are not big enough to have 40 people inside. So I think most of the uh, classes are going to be online, but let's see what happens afterwards. Yeah, that is interesting. Okay, I have a question. Yes, Adeli. Okay, but this is the TOEFL uh, 3, right? Yes. After that, uh, we will take another course or this one is the last one? This is the last one. <laughs> oh, okay. But in, then if I would like to get another uh, course, mm -hmm. uh, but it's, go, it's going to be like uh, English, uh, advanced English or something like that. You know, Arely, the, these courses from this academy, they are designed since the beginner level. All right. So we have... Principiante one, two, three, pre-intermediate one, two, three, intermediate one, two, three, pre-advanced one, two, three, advanced one, two, three. We have TOEFL one, I mean TOEFL preparation one, TOEFL preparation two, and this one, which is the last one. But right now, we are working with the preparation of TOEIC, which is similar, like it's the other test that you guys can take. All right, so right now, my boss and I were working on the preparation of TOEIC 1, 2, and 3. So in that case, if I, if I can uh, take TOEIC 1, 2, 3? Sure, yeah. After yeah, you this can one? Enroll, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. okay, that in would be a good to, option. Yeah, yeah, because in that way, you keep on, like, um, practicing. Right now, the other day, Maribel gave me a suggestion and I passed it to the academy and it's like about having like a pronunciation course, you know, like talking yeah, about that would be uh, great so as well. Right now, we're like thinking about making more courses yeah. like you guys that are already very advanced. All right. So like just to polish everything up or just to help you a little bit more. Or just to practice, because sometimes what happens at least like, besides this class, you don't practice it with any, anybody else. So I think this exactly. is a very good chance for you to keep on practicing, right? So we'll see, Arely. I will let you know anyway, because uh, we always have courses all the time. So right now, we are working on the TOEIC preparation, all right? So you may be enrolled in that one. It's a different kind of test, but at the end, it's English, all right? So yeah, because... Yeah, in that case, uh, I would like to, to practice reading because mm -hmm. all the time I have mm, more difficult on, on reading section. Yeah, the reading because, skill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my yeah. score on reading section uh -huh. are very low. So and that's uh -huh. why I, I need and I would like to, to improve right. that section. Okay. okay. Yeah, and I don't know, Arely, you did not take TOEFL 1 and TOEFL 2, right? You were not with me last no. course, yeah. Because this on is the first one. Yeah, on TOEFL 2 with me, because these, the, these uh, your classmates, TOEFL 1, they did not take you with me. Uh, they were with me on TOEFL 2. But in TOEFL 2, we, do, we did a lot of reading and everything. So, I mean, I, it would be kind of weird for you to take TOEFL 2 after you finish this one. But if you want to practice, TOEFL 2 is a very good way to practice. I mean, to keep on practicing in case TOEIC is not ready. But it's probably going to be ready as soon as we finish this one. But I can't. Uh, but 
I can take that uh, course, TOEFL 2? Yeah, I think so. You just have to enroll. And I, I would, I mean, if you want to, I can ask um, the coordinator in case you are like really interested to take TOEFL 2, although you finish TOEFL 3. I don't think that would be a problem. I mean, yeah, but the thing that I want is practice. That's right. Yeah, that, I see your point. Yes. So let me let me ask them. Okay. And I, was, I, I think it wouldn't be a problem. As soon as okay. you finish this one. Yeah, very good. Okay. Okay. I say, yes, very good. Okay, guys. Uh, we were chit chatting, but that was a nice chat. And it's also practicing. So that's good. All right. So we're ready to continue with our reading. All right. So Maribel, I want to congratulate Maribel because she sent, well, uh, some of you or most of you sent me the possible choices for reading too. Most of you, Saida, Anidia, and a couple of others sent me the choices that you guys thought it was. Most of you got two right, all right, which is good. All right, at least you have a point, which is good, <laughs> all right? Uh, but Maribel got the two points. She got everything right. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations, Maribel. You did a thank next you, one. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Very good. Okay. So the answers for number two or the, the right B as in boy, C, C as in, as in casa, <laughs> and F as in children. Yeah. So B, C, F. All right. So those are those were the three right choices, okay? So very good, guys. So X, Repeat, please. B, as in B. boy. B, C, as in cerritos, <laughs> as my last name. <laughs> and F, as in friend, right? So those were the ones. All right, guys, so we're going to continue again with uh, the other two reading passages I told you I have. I already sent it before like two minutes before the class began, I send the PPT. Everybody has it? Yeah, check yes. on the WhatsApp group. Yes. Got it? Okay, yes, I have. Excellent, very good. Everybody is on the group, right? Everybody's on the WhatsApp group. Brenda, you're in the WhatsApp group? Yeah, okay, very good. And the other girls that are new, everybody's on the, on the group, yeah? Yes. All right, excellent. Okay, so I'm going to send you right now to, I'm just going to show it to you. I mean, you have it, but it's, this is the one that we're working with today. The same thing as yesterday, guys. It says present summary questions is the continuation of it. And then we have, um, let's see, here we have the first reading, all right? The first passage. Uh, this one is talking about diving and stuff, about ocean stuff, all right? So again, we don't really know much about it, but that's okay. These are the, uh, these are the choices of number three, the one that is like on bold, that is the topic sentence, if you want to call it that way, or the, uh, the question. This is the second passage, guys, and this is the topic sentence and the other uh, six, I mean, yeah, six choices from that reading, all right? So the same thing, I do ask for you to go to your groups, all right, to read out loud so you help each other with and everything. Guys, I cannot be emphatic enough. Remember that English, even if we speak it like really, really well, English is not our first language and we probably won't know all the vocabulary that is there. So if you have a notebook with you and a pencil and you can write the vocabulary that you don't know, that helps you. It doesn't help me, it helps you. All right, and that's a very good way to practice. All right, so I'm gonna send you right now to uh, our groups or to your breakout rooms, work on it. Uh, you already have the presentation, so please read it out loud, check pronunciation, write down the words that you don't know, and then of course, check the meaning of the words, okay? But in English, because at the level that you guys are at right now, you don't need to know the meaning in Spanish. You need to find a synonym, all right, or a word that relates to that one, okay? So I wish you luck <laughs> for these two passages, all right? So I'm gonna send you right now to your breakout rooms. All right, here we go. Let me know if you need any, any help.
that's why they call it like that. Call it. Uh -huh. The reason gas bubbles for has to do with the saturation and the saturation of body tissues with. What is the meaning of the word diver? Diver. Uh huh. Well, diver. It's a scuba diver. Buzo. Mm -hmm. Buceo. Mm answer because in the last part of the paragraph say the most reliable, reliable test is to compress the patient and see whether the symptoms abate. I think that is no. Diving tables get set guidance based on since even the market. In the last paragraph you say? Yeah. Okay. The last part because even when the no when the Roman people realized that their money was being debased, they responded by hoarding coins. Whenever they got a good coin, what with a high percentage of silver in it, they keep it. They spend only bad coins, those with a low percentage of silver.
only two correct. Hello, teacher. Hi, Julia. Hi, Arely. Finished? Yay. Yes, we finished. Yeah. All right. I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, what do you girls got for the first passage for the uh, for number three? Or for the first letter one we have today? Mm -hmm. Letter A, B, and D. Oh, my goodness. The girls got one point. <laughs> A, A is correct and D is correct. Okay. Excellent. Very good. What about for number two? I mean, for the fourth paragraph or the last one. Letter A, D, and E. Mm, okay. So one only E is correct. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so what you should do right now is, okay, so take, for example, number three, that you got two right choices. Uh, now you know that the, the one that you gave me, one of the ones that you gave me is not correct. So now try, of course, you have to eliminate that one and go back and read the other choices to see which one is most likely to be right. Okay, and the same thing for okay. number three. Okay? Okay. All right, thank you. I don't know, I am between B and F because uh, as you said before, the best way to diagnose DCS is to put the patient through recompression. recompression. Um, but it's the contrast with the last part because I, I is difficult and this is uh, the, the best way. I, I understand. That's okay, the I last, last uh, sentences, I think because even professionals can have difficulty diagnosis DCS, the most real, reliable test is to recompress the patient and see whether their symptoms abate. So if, they, if the doctor suspect about the patient has DCS, he put him in a recompressed process and if the symptoms abate, so he says, ah, okay, so it's DCS. Yeah. So what are the choices that you girls got? Uh, One teacher. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, as far, we have a, a uh -huh. and E. And we are, I am, <laughs> I am between V and F. Okay. And, and I think... Um, that is for the first passage, right, Nidia? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So A, it is, you said A, right? Yes. yes. Okay, A is correct. Okay. What was the other choice that you gave me? E. Okay, no, that one's not. Okay. F. Okay. Uh, 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 no. <laughs> oh my okay. God. Okay. <laughs> so A, C, be... and D, teacher? B, yes. D is correct, Saida. Okay. So you got to write A and D because you were thinking about that one, right? So A and D is correct. Saida, I have a question to ask you. Yeah? <laughs> do, you, do you personally feel the reading? is less difficult for you than speaking yes yeah i yeah, think I, yeah you know I, I that's what i thought because um i think with the reading you you understand like really well all right yes because and, i had problems with this part <laughs> before and ah, i read 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 ah, very good saida all right yeah i could tell from yesterday i'm thinking mm, saida and I thought your, yeah, like your skill of reading is better than the skill of speaking. Not that you cannot speak, it's when you need, like when you are under pressure, it's like, ah, you get kind of like nervous or yeah. confused, right? <laughs> but with the reading, I think you manage really well. Yeah, yeah. very good, Simon. But the listening is back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay, what about you, Nidia? What do you think your best skill is? 
reading, speaking? Maybe. Listening? I don't know. I don't <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, but you know what, Lydia? You speak really well. You, I mean, with the speaking that we saw last um, course, your speaking is really nice. And you know what I like about your speaking? I don't know if you get nervous or not, but even if you do, it doesn't show. So you're so, like, yes. you're not, I am focal face, yes. <laughs> so you are like paced and everything. So you, I mean, your point is like it gets across and it's not like too, I mean, too wordy or anything. It's like it's straight to the point. All right. Oh, so that's you. good. That's good, Nidia. Very good. Yes. I yes. was going to tell you about other uh, academies that mm -hmm. they have a. Uh, uh, a platform, no, a course about uh, conversation. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Maybe, maybe it would be. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that, that would be a nice, a nice course to have. We're actually thinking, you know, like maybe a little bit about phonetics, a little bit about conversation, um, because it's that, that's the only way we have to practice, you know. So and and to give a specific topic and then you kind of talk about it you know so yeah we're thinking about that Nidia we're we're trying to get more courses involved on the program for people like you guys that already like have an advanced level all right so what we want now is not really like talk about grammar points what we want is to speak and to be able to express our ideas and our thoughts like related to any kind of topic so yeah we're thinking about that maybe i think we're gonna keep on on uh developing more courses yes but um, moreover about uh the accents because when i i am watching a, a tv program mm -hmm. uh, i don't know they say the la accent is um like how you say Aragon? <laughs> lazy? <laughs> lazy, yes, lazy. And yeah. other parts like Boston or even mm -hmm. Washington DC are more elegant, yeah. better yeah. pronunciation. Yeah. And when you uh, talk to people from Europe or Asia, it's mm -hmm. another yeah. kind another of accent. Yeah. Yes. yes. And yeah. they correct you. No, it, it doesn't. Yeah, true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, that kind of things or tips that yeah we can get okay. sure yeah yeah i think it would be like a good idea to have like listenings for you guys from different accents as you mentioned you know so you kind of like get used to not used to all the accent accents but at least kind of like get to know them because you never know i mean who are you going to be talking to and what their accent is you know so it's, yeah i think it's a good idea maybe i'm gonna i mean I do have like a nice like conversation with my boss and everything. So we can like, I'm sure he's planning to extend the program to more like other kind of um, courses for people that are like already advanced and they kind of finish, you know, all the grammar part and everything. So yeah, mm -hmm. it would okay. be nice. Yeah. So you guys can, can still be with us. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, okay. very nice. All right. Media, the, the TOEFL one was the first course you took, or you were like taking it before other courses? No, uh, I took about uh, advanced two or three. I don't ah, remember. Okay, okay. All right. Yes. All right. And Saida, what about you? Uh, the TOEFL two and, and this, one. this one. So TOEFL two yes. was the first one with us. Yes. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Mm. You know, right now, Nidia, I have a group that I have had it since last year. Oh, really? Yeah, I have, like, like, I began with them, I think it was May or June last year. So it's been nice because I have learned, I mean, I have known the, the way that they have developed and everything. So Evolution. <laughs> yeah, and they have, I mean, most of them they have. Of course, we always have, like, new students, but the ones that have, like, they were with me since, like, last year, so I can see their their process and it's interesting oh yes yeah. yes <laughs> all right to. so a is right d is right okay so try to look for the other choice for num for the first passage of this evening all right do you okay. have it did were you able to read the last passage or not yet no we okay. haven't okay. okay okay that's fine that's fine all right i'm gonna go and i'm gonna check on another group right now okay thank you thank you
Okay, Saida? I jump, but when you are a child, when you are a teenager, when you that, were. That, when, you yeah. were. when you were a teenager, <laughs> that is a. Girl. Oh my gosh! It's the teacher, it's the teacher but, for but the my teacher, oh. teacher, no! <laughs> but when I am talking, oh my god, uh, 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 I don't know how to say it. Oh, <laughs> hell, wow, excellent, buddy. I'm happy for that. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see. Do you have the choices for the first uh, passage of this evening? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. okay, let's see. What do you guys got for that one? The letter A. Uh -huh. The letter C yes. and the letter D. Wow, guys, excellent! <laughs> Super <laughs> good! Yeah, bravo, nice! Yeah. Very good, wow. Teacher, we are, we are learning. Of course. And uh, we are advanced. <laughs> of course, very uh -huh. good. Excellent, yeah. good, guys, very good. What about for number four? Were you able to finish that one? No. no. <laughs> okay, okay, but you're doing super good. It's homework. Homework. <laughs> yeah, homework. Yeah, very good. But you see, you got two points already. Oh my gosh. Excellent. Good job. <laughs> All right, very good. I think I'm gonna we're gonna go back to the main group because I have another class right now. So you guys are gonna be assigned the last reading, okay? Excellent. Okay. Good job. Anything? Congratulations. Good. Thank you. Bye, ladies. Bye. Okay, guys, so we're back. I need to go. Remember, I have another class right after yours. So I want to congratulate again Maribel and Brenda. And it was Manuel, right? Yeah, you, you guys were working together. Yes. All right. Yes. So I'm going to give you the answers. No, you know what? I'm going to leave uh, Brenda to, leave, to give you guys the answers for the first passage. All right, for the first passage of this evening. So Brenda, can you share the answers or the right choices for number for the one that we were working on? Sure. Um, it's letter A, letter C as in Charlie, mm -hmm. and letter D for David. Excellent. All right. So it's A, C, D. All right. So I know Nidia and Saida were close, like getting it all. I mean, they got two right and everything. So Guys, it's, remember that this is a process, all right? So don't think that you're gonna get it once. You may, and which is good, all right? But it takes practice, okay? So thank you so much for being with me again tonight. Tomorrow, I'm gonna show you the other type of question. Remember that we have pros and summary and fill in a table question. So tomorrow we're gonna talk about filling the table question, which is very similar to this one. There's a little bit, a little bit, you know, a little bit of a difference but no big deal but again we're going to be reading tomorrow okay and if you notice the first week flies all right so tomorrow's the last day of the week oh my goodness all right so thank you so much for being with me all right so i'll see you tomorrow guys bye, bye. bye. And, and if, guys sorry if you can if you can uh, work on your um second passage for homework send me the answers and everything okay all right, thank okay. you. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night.